What's up guys, this is Dom from MacMixing.com and today we are going to jailbreak my iPhone 4S. This 4S is running iOS 5.1.1 and we're going to be using the Absinthe version 2 tool to jailbreak this 4S. Now this method will work for all devices um, but I figured I'd show you guys on the iPad and then I'd show you guys on a phone. But what we're going to do here is we're going to jailbreak this iPhone. As you can see on my MacBook here, I have the Absinthe tool open from the Chronic Dev team. And all we're going to do is click jailbreak. Now, real quick, before you go ahead and click this button right here, make sure that you have backed up your phone so that if anything goes wrong, you'll be able to restore it through iTunes. Uh, this is a pretty much a clean install of iOS 5.1.1. I did it last night, so it's pretty much good to go. Just make sure that you back your stuff up. I can't stress that enough. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up, back your stuff up. All right, so let's get into that now that I put out that disclaimer. All we're gonna do here is click jailbreak. And once I click this button right here, it's going to simulate a restore on the phone. So stay tuned and here we go. Now you see connecting to device. And obviously you have to have your phone or device plugged in to do this, so just keep that in mind. As you can see, the little sync icon's moving up there at the top, so it knows that something's happening. And on the screen here, it says beginning jailbreak. And so basically, uh, it says beginning jailbreak. This may take a while, so we're just kind of going to sit here and wait until, you know, it's ready. Pretty much all you can do in this situation. But be patient with this, guys. It's it's uh it's fairly quick. It's probably the easiest uh, jailbreak that they've ever came out with, and they keep making it easier and easier for everybody. So, it's literally just a matter of patience, you guys. A matter of patience. And don't unplug your phone, by the way, don't, or or your device or whatever, your iPad, your iPod. Don't unplug anything in the middle of doing this because you will screw something up probably. And now it says sending initial jailbreak data. This may also take a while. And pretty soon here, it's going to simulate a restore. And you're gonna, it's gonna appear that your device is actually restoring itself when really it's being sneaky and injecting the jailbreak right under uh, Apple's nose pretty much. So stay patient with it. Sending initial jailbreak data. This may take a while. And if you guys have an iPad and you feel more comfortable, feel free to check out my uh, jailbreak video for the iPad, for the new iPad. Now it says, sending final jailbreak data, your device will appear to be restoring a backup, just like it shows right there. This may also take a while. Again, let it do its thing. Don't mess with it, don't unplug the device, and you'll be good to go. And so we're basically coming down the home stretch here with the restore. Once it's uh, restored, it will appear to be rebooting, load up some data, and then we should have a jailbreak. And if yours takes a little longer than mine, don't be alarmed. Also, comment below and let me know if you got your device jailbroken by using uh, this video. And here we go with a little reboot cycle. Waiting for reboot, not done yet, don't unplug your device yet, exclamation point. Very firm instructions. <laughs> Be sure to listen to them. Now you guys, if you're already running an untethered jailbreak for 5.0.1, uh, you really don't have to jailbreak, but you can if you want. If you want any new features that came with 5.1.1, which were ap actually zero new features really, um, but, you know, same applies with other versions of, uh, of iOS. If a new version comes out and you want the new features, then you can, uh, you know, restore your device, upgrade, and go for it from there. And here we see this little happy bar. Mm -hmm. Then we got a reset and a little vibrate. And on the screen it says waiting for process to complete. Now it's not done yet. Don't unlock your phone. Don't unlock it. I know it's very tempting. That little shiny bar there is, is super tempting. Just leave it alone and let the process complete.
And now we see on the screen, done, enjoy. So we are done now. So now we can go ahead and unlock the phone. And you see everything's normal here. But we have Cydia right there. Wow, looky there. Looky, looky, fortune cookie. <laughs> uh, everything's great, you guys. It's running Cydia now, as you can see. Uh, it's preparing file system. And I just got a like on a video on YouTube. Awesome. <laughs> So there you go guys, that's how you jailbreak iOS 5.1.1 on an iPhone 4S. Uh, this also can be used, the same method can be used for the new iPad or an iPod or an iPhone 4. It's basically for all devices. Um, the only one that's not 1000% uh, confirmed and probably won't be for a while is the Apple TV 3. So uh, just check below in the description down there for a complete list of all the devices that you can use this method for. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, please click this button to subscribe. And our Twitter link is here. Our Facebook link is here. So thank you very much, guys. This is Dom from MacMixing.com. Please rate, subscribe, and comment, and have a great day.